Good Wednesday afternoon, Grace Trenton folks. Pastor Hutch here coming to you for our Wednesday Word of the Week. You know, I don't know how you have felt over these past six weeks as we've been in this COVID-19 uh, social distancing reality, but for me, there's been many, many times where I felt very disoriented, very confused, and very lost. Just not knowing what am I to do with myself, what am I to do with my time, um, how am I to lead in this space that God's put me in? And you know, any time, time in life, whenever we feel lost, what we need is a map. And I'm thinking of one of those maps whenever you're in some unfamiliar place and, and it lays out the big picture, but in order to find your way around, you have to find that little red dot that says you are here. And when you find that, it begins to orient you to the larger picture of what's going on. You know, yesterday I was particularly feeling this sense of lost and aimless and what, how, what are we to do in this space? And God reminded me of what I felt like He really impressed on my heart six weeks ago as we were coming into this season. And that was this passage from Esther chapter 4 where um, Israel, God's people, finds themselves in exile and in this crisis that's threatening literally the entire nation and Esther has been put in this unique position to be able to act but she doesn't see that she's overwhelmed by the reality of circumstances and Mordecai speaks to her in the midst of that and he calls her to see the opportunity that's before her and he says who knows but that you've been put in this position for such a time as this Mordecai is inviting her to see God's larger purposes that are at work behind all of her circumstances. And I think what that invites us to see is that what we're in, all these circumstances, that we have a tremendous opportunity in front of us. Now the opportunity is not primarily something that we can do or ways that we can serve or what we can give. The reality is we can't do much of that right now. But the opportunity, I believe, is what God wants to do in us. It's always God's first agenda. Before He ever wants to use us in some way, first and foremost, He wants to work in us to bring about change and transformation. Now, we saw that this past Sunday in Romans chapter 8, where we saw in, in every situation and circumstance, in all things, as Paul puts it, God is at work bringing about our good. And what that good is, is that we be changed, that we be transformed into the people God has created us to be, that we become like Jesus himself. So here's what I want to invite you to do during this season. One, let that truth reframe how you see all these circumstances we're walking through. You know, as we listen to the media and all the voices around us, it wants us to focus on our circumstances. I want to challenge us to reframe everything that we're walking through, through this lens of God is at work, and this is an opportunity in which He wants to work in me. And then secondly, along with that, I want to challenge us to go to God and to open our hearts to what He wants to do in us. In order to do that, we have to make space for that. We have to make space to be with God, to go to Him and to begin to put this question before Him. God, what do you want to show me? What do you want to change in me? In what ways do you want to transform me from within? And then along with that, I want to encourage you to reach out and have a conversation with two or three other folks in the church and to share what is God teaching me, what am I learning, what am I wrestling with, and to also ask them what is God teaching you, what are you learning in this time. So the reality is this is no accident, God is at work in us in this season. This is our opportunity for such a time as this. Good to be with you.